why do we have to accept that greenhouse gas has to go into the air? We don't. So we just said, there's gotta be a way. Plastic is made from fossil fuels. And whether you start with oil or natural gas, this is a very, very energy capital intensive process. A lot of carbon is emitted. So for every pound of oil-based plastic that is made, at least three pounds of CO2 are emitted into the air. Now we have the ability to take greenhouse gas emissions where they're being produced and turn it into a polymer that we can use to make consumer products. So it's just a fundamentally different way for the world to make its materials rather than making it from fossil fuels. IKEA is one of the largest consumers of plastics in the world today. With the production license that we've issued to them, they now have the opportunity to, instead of getting all of their plastics from fossil fuels, start to get it from renewable resources. So we're putting greenhouse gas into the reactor, along with air. And those gases bubble through a, a liquid solution, and it's turned into a white powder in this tank. We're taking the powder and we're pushing it into our extruder. And so what you see here is the powder is falling into the extruder, and as it goes along here, it melts. It's coming out and it's very hot. For us to turn this into pellets, we have to cool it down. So this runs through the water bath, and then finally we run it into the pelletizer, which chops it up, and we turn it into a final product, which is this pellet material. And we've taken those pellets and then turned them into these test bars. And what we do with the test bars is then we take them and we determine the physical properties of the material that we've just made. These pellets can then be molded into different shapes or sent off to our customers. In the last 12 months, we've signed uh, three major contracts that have totaled about 74 billion pounds in material. So the next plant that we're building is a 50 million pound per year plant. So over 20 years, that'll produce about a billion pounds. Our goal is eventually to replace all plastics. It's a very ambitious goal, but, but we think the only way you get there is if you outcompete on price and performance. So that's our mission. We haven't stopped for 13 years and, and we, don't, we don't plan on stopping anytime soon.